I don't want to break. I hate you. Why did you give her away? I didn't give Abigail away. She got adopted by new parents. Hey girls and guys, it's Heather from Style Let's Play and I am back on a Bloxburg with my cute adorable family. And today we have some bittersweet news. Now, uh, this news is going to be heartbreaking, but it's also super, super exciting. And it has to do with Abigail. You guys know that a while ago, we basically took Abigail in. We didn't officially adopt her. We were more like fostering her until we found her a new family. And guess what? We finally found a perfect family for Abigail. But that means she's going to have to leave us. So right now the girls are in the playroom, they're having a great time, but I have to break the news to them. I'm going to tell Abigail alone first, before I tell Ellie. Oh, look at them. I'm going to draw you on a unicorn. Oh, they're so cute. <gasps> All right. Abigail, hey girls. Hope you guys are having fun. Ellie, do you mind if I take your sister away for just a couple minutes? I, I have to talk to her. Hi, Mom. Okay, be quick. I will. Don't worry. All right, Abigail, can I go talk to you upstairs in your bedroom? Don't worry, Ellie. I'll be right back, okay? And you guys could go back to drawing all your amazing pictures. <gasps> I don't know how Ellie is going to take this news. She is going to be devastated. What is this pet doing out here? Is Baby Pigs messing with furniture again? Ugh. See, he watches all this like wrestling stuff and he drags the beds around so he can make his own wrestling ring. Ugh, boys, they're crazy sometimes. We're gonna have to push this bed back in. But anyway, all right. Hey, Abigail, do you want to sit down? Oh, I hope she's excited. I don't know how she's gonna take this news. I mean, she's loved being a part of the family, so I don't know. All right, Abigail, I have some news for you. Okay, I gotta just tell her. I just gotta go for it. What's the news? Well, the news is... Hold on, hold on, okay. One second. Before I tell Abigail the news, I just want to tell you some news. So Ricky and I recently moved into our new house, and we did a house tour, which is on my channel. And we also redecorated the guest bedroom over on the vlog channel. So if you haven't already, make sure you go subscribe to the vlog channel and make sure you subscribe to Ricky because he plays all the babies on my channel. There'll be a link to the, all of that information down in the description below. But now, back to telling Abigail the news. All right. Hello, I'm still here. Sorry, sorry. You know, I just had to do a shameless plug. <laughs> anyway. Abigail, you know how we've been looking for new parents for you? Guess what? I've been looking through thousands and thousands of applications. There's so many people out there in the world who love you so much and want to be your parents. But I finally found the perfect couple to be your new parents. <gasps> are you excited? They are so, so lovely. They've got this amazing house. They even have a pet. Oh, it's so awesome. Oh, so I have to leave? Well, you can go when you're ready, but they are going to come to pick you up later tonight. Oh, and they told me they've got a little special surprise for you. I hope they're nice. Oh, trust me. I made sure they were a super nice. Look, don't tell them this, okay, because I could get in trouble, but I even stalked them. I even broke into their house when they weren't there just to make sure they weren't like secretly crazy or had a secret basement or something. And you know what? I think you're going to like them a lot. So are you excited? Are you ready to meet your new parents? <gasps> you, you're going to think they're great. Mm -hmm. I won't tell them. Good. You better not because then I'll end up going to jail. <laughs> and then who's going to raise baby Biggs and baby Ellie? <laughs> And you know, no one's going to want to adopt baby big like they want to adopt you. <laughs> He's a little rascal and no one's going to want him. I'll miss you. Oh, I'm going to miss you too. I'm going to miss you so, so much. But I spoke to your new parents and they agreed that you and Ellie could see each other every single weekend. So guess what? You're going to be here every weekend anyway. We're going to have amazing sleepovers and... I'll even let Ellie go stay at your house, your new house, in your new bedroom. 
It's going to be so much fun. Trust me. And you have our number. You can call us whenever you want. But now, we have to do something. We have to tell Ellie the news. That you're going to be moving into a new house with a new family. You think we should tell her together? Oh, this is going to be... This is going to be... I don't even know what to say right now. <gasps> you tell her. Okay, but you come with me, okay? I feel like she'll be a lot better if we tell her together. So come on. Let's go downstairs and tell her the news. I finished the painting, Mommy. Oh, oh wow. It looks amazing. You're going to be like the next Frida Kahlo or something. Look at you go. Wow. But, Ellie... Your sister and I have something we want to tell you. <gasps> so maybe you want to sit down? It's never good when you tell me to sit down. Well, actually, this is really good news. It's great news for Abigail. And I'm pretty sure you're going to be really happy for her. So Ellie, we found new parents for Abigail. So that means she's going to be moving out today. But she's my sister. She can't leave me. I have a new mom and dad. Yeah. Abigail has a new mom and dad. And now it's time for her to go. It's time for her to live her life with her new family. But you're still going to get to see her. No, no, no. She needs to live here with us. We can have sleepovers. Yeah. I know it's going to be hard for you to say bye to Abigail because she was like your little twin sister. But look, Abigail's still going to get to see you and it's still going to be just like it was when she lived here. It's just now you get a little break from her once in a while. I don't want a break. I hate you. Why did you give her away? I didn't give Abigail away. She got adopted by new parents. Ellie, I understand you're upset because this is really hard for you to take in. But you need to calm down. Look, see... I thought since it's Abigail's last day here, maybe you two could spend the day together. Have a little girl's trip. We could go to the beach, get some ice cream. How does that sound? Ellie, it's okay. I'll miss you, and I wish I could live here. But I'm excited. Oh my gosh. I feel like Abigail's grown up so much. I'm so proud of her. I did a good job raising her for a couple weeks. <laughs> So come on, Nelly, try to cheer up. You don't want this last day to be sad. You want it to be a happy time. So let's go get in the car. It'll be great. We'll get ice cream. We'll have a good time. Yes? Come on, let's go. All right, you guys are ready out in the back? Good. Okay, just remember, no jumping off. All right, the last thing we need is for one of you to break a bone. Okay, let's take a little shortcut. Ooh. Girls, don't tell anyone I did this, okay? <laughs> All right, it's so difficult to see. This is a bad idea. Oh, okay, there's the road. There's the road. Whew. All right, so how about we start off with some pizza? Because I know you guys love pizza. So we'll start off at the pizza place. Here we go. So I would normally not let you guys do this, but because it's a special day, I'm going to bring you guys to my secret spot on top of the pizza place. Isn't it really cool up here? Don't get any ideas, okay? You guys are not allowed to do this without me. So, I don't want to see you guys trying to sneak up here on your own. This is cool. I know it is, isn't it? See, I told you I was a cool mom. I guess we might as well have fun. Exactly. That's the good positive attitude to have. So, I'm thinking we should all go get our nails done. Get our toenails painted, our fingernails. And then maybe we could go buy some junk food and just wait until Abigail's new parents come to the house. Does that sound like a good idea? Yeah? What about ice cream? Okay, of course, ice cream, ice cream. Can't forget it. All right, come on, let's go before the salon closes because then we can't get our nails done. So did you girls have a good time today? It was so much fun. Good. Oh, oh <laughs> I think we had a little too much fun now. <laughs> so eat up your ice cream, okay? So it doesn't melt. Plus, I don't, want your, I don't want your little brother there to see that I got you guys ice cream because then he's going to get mad that I didn't get him one. I loved it. Good. Oh, I almost crashed into that girl. Oh, I think Abigail's parents are there. <gasps> okay, let me try to get into the driveway. 
All right, Abigail. So it turns out that it was your parents. We got all your luggage. And you're all ready to go. This is going to be our final goodbye. <sighs> We're going to miss you, Abigail. Make sure you call every single day. And if you need anything, you know we're always here for you, okay? I love you, sis. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you so much. I love you too. I'll miss you too. <laughs> oh, how about we have one final group hug? Yes? Come on. Who doesn't want a hug? Come on, Abigail. This isn't a hug if you're not in it. So come on. I'm gonna miss Baby Bix too. Aww. <laughs> I think he would have came out here to say bye to you, but I think he would have started to cry. He just doesn't want anyone to see his emotions. That's all. <laughs> so remember, you're gonna come back here next weekend. So, it might be a little rough the first week, but if you want me to go pick you up to bring you over for just an hour, we can do that, all right? But you better go, Abigail. Your parents are waiting for you. Bye. Bye, Abigail. Oh, look at her. She's leaving us. I can't believe this. She gave us one final wave. Are you okay, Ellie? Mommy, I'm sad. I know you are. Hey, how about me and you have a sleepover? We'll watch a movie tonight, get some popcorn. Yeah? Come on, I'll go get it ready upstairs. Oh, but anyway, you guys. I'm gonna have to end it here because I've got to spend the rest of the day just making sure that Ellie's okay. Obviously, it's a really tough day for her. She just basically lost her sister, even though she's gonna get to see her again. We have to understand that it's a lot for her to take. But let me know in the comments down below. Are you excited to meet Abigail's new parents? Are you excited that she has a new family? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to check out the vlog channel and Rethink's channel. There'll be a link down in the description below. Once again, I hope you guys had fun watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!